But they would know what's bright and thing. Oh, there you are. Double, oh, double, oh God, there's a shoulder. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back to another fishing adventure. Big rainbow, I thought it was a brown, but how deep and... Oh my God. Graham, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Graham. I am a professional fishing guide on the Midlands Reservoirs as well as in the Seychelles when travel allows. I have been guiding for a few years on and off um, as just pocket money and weekend work, um, but I took it a bit further and went to the Seychelles and have been guiding there for uh, one season. I was born in Zimbabwe and moved to England when I was very young, um, but I've always done trips back and forth um, throughout my life. And what do you enjoy most about the Midland Reservoirs? Um, I enjoy targeting the, the larger grown on fish, the brown trout particularly. So I'd recommend a seven or eight weight rod, a reel with a decent drag system, and generally speaking, fast sink lines. So stuff like um, die threes down to die sevens, um, big flies that represent bait fish, so um, tubes, snakes, um, humongous is a, is a very good fly. Keep your leaders relatively short, single fly or two flies at most, and just persistence really. There's, there's not loads of these fish in the reservoirs, so just, just keep going and eventually you'll, you'll come across one. And we're on pits for today, what are your expectations? Um, it's a bit flat, so it, it might be a tough day, um, but we should be able to sit on, on the spots I wanted to um, and hopefully hopefully find a couple of better fish. So um, look me up on Facebook at uh, Guide Rutland Fly Fishing or my website is also Guide Rutland Fly Fishing. First drift is down by the dam. I got a booby basher on and two hummies. And all I'm going to do is work it down this pole bank. Graham is going to go for a similar approach, it's a bit higher in the water. And hopefully, something will begin to show. Come on, come on. Run summit. What have we got? Pike. Oh, we, oh, pike. Oh, oh. Mr. Jack Pike. First pike I've ever caught. Tiny little thing, but we're getting straight back. Oh, it's a big brown. Yeah, it's a good fish. That is a cracking fish. First fish of the day. Yeah. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, chuffed with that one. So what we came for, nice Pittsford Brown in the rain. It's taken us a while to get him, but I knew they were here and a bit of perseverance and we got him.
feels a bit, a bit brown like. Yes, it is. Yeah. No, it's good rain bike. Pulling a bit. On the black and gold Huey again. again it's like a cracking rainbow there. Big rainbow there. <laughs> Got it? Yes. <sighs> nice rainbow again on the black and gold Huey. Um, just fast figure of eight. Just fishing the flies a little bit slower because of the flat calm, um, trying to get them down. have so much choice and all everybody's hearing is yeah there we go oh, oh there we go yeah yeah that ah, took a little dropper My first, um, my first Pittsford rainbow, lovely fish, just took it on the buzzers. Didn't take it long at all, actually. So switching to a flat cam was obviously the right option. And what we found was, on a flat cam, if you're fishing the bung, fish generally aren't gonna be that inclined to come for the flies. So the more of a static presentation you can offer them, the more of a better result you'll get. But we'll get them straight back now. Okay, so after um, one brown pike and a couple of unwanted rainbows, we've come down to Sailing Club Bay now. We're going to drift this down now, still sticking to the same method, still pulling. Hopefully there's a brown sitting here waiting for one of us. Let's see how we get on. Yep. a few fish um, this is the setup we're using so I'm on a vision still maniac seven weight uh, with a switch black I've got a snowby buzzer tip on on the end I've got four buzzers on eight pound g3 um, roughly about four foot apart and then I'm just fishing them slow and static all the way back to the boat and it's just locking up Oh, I would. As the morning wore on and the sun began to break through the clouds, it became apparent that the brownies just weren't playing ball. So I switched back to the buzzer rod with three buzzers sat at 4 foot, 9 foot and 12 foot under a bang. And it wasn't long before we found the big rainbows. There we go. There we go. Yeah. 
middle buzzer again. Nine foot down. Let the fun begin. Not a big fish, but welcome all the same. Right, we're getting back. Yep, there you go. Ooh, ooh what's a better fish? That's a better fish. That's what we're after, but that is not a small fish. Oh, don't lose this, Reese. Don't lose this guy. Oh, don't come off. Don't come off. Do not come off. Please. The luck I've had today. Do not come off. The size of that, Graham. Look at the size of that. Oh my god. How that fish hasn't come off yet, I do not know. That isn't a small rainbow. No, 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 no. What? No, 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 no. No, 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a lovely looking brown, that is. <laughs> it looks more like a stocky, looks like a stocky rainbow, that doesn't it? Big, big rainbow. I thought it was a brown, but held deep and popped up in this big rainbow. As the light began to fade and we worked our way back to the causeway, we managed to find a group of feeding fish high in the water. So on went minky boobies and crease flies, and it wasn't long until they were hitting the top. Yep, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Okay. Mate. <laughs> oh, another pull. Oh, another pull. Oh, yes. We just pulled up, just past Bog Bay. First chuck straight into these two. Oh, there you are. Double, oh, double, oh god, there's a shoal there. <laughs> a 
And that is the end of our day on Pittsford. So I actually had a lot of fun today. And Graham was a fantastic. He showed me around the lake. I've never been here before. So if you want to have a day with Graham, whether it be on Rutland, Pittsford, or any one of the other Midland reservoirs, I'll leave his guiding details linked in the description below. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. My name is Reese. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.